Good morning, you guys. We're starting the first day of the Credit Beauty Challenge. I might not be as peppy as I usually am. Came downstairs, found out my bird died. Tweety is gone. May he rest in peace. So I got to bury my bird. <sighs> but I don't deal well with grief, but we're going to move on. We're going to dedicate this one to Tweety. So we're going to give you some quick steps to enable you to begin to beautify your credit. Now, I want to give you guys uh, some information, some things that I see, and some points, uh, tips, and advice. Number one, understand credit collections and credit debt is another form of bondage. There's a lot of people that's stuck in this system that is in bondage also. The weird thing about bondage, even if you look in slavery time, with uh, the North and the Confederate South, uh, one was advocating to keep bondage going, which was, you know, slavery. The other group was trying to release those in slavery. When the Emancipation Proclamation came through and they announced to some of the slaves that they were free, some was glad to leave, but you had others that wanted to stay in slavery. They actually fought and identified with their oppressors. They even fight with the oppressors. The one that is actually oppressing them and the cause of their oppression. So I want to warn you, this stuff that I'm giving you is bringing you out of bondage. And people tend, even when you start to share this information, just like with the Moses effect. Hey, he saw a taskmaster beating his brethren. He was so upset that he killed the taskmaster. The next day, his two brethren, or, you know, fellow Hebrews, was fighting over with one another over something simple. And he said, hey, let's not fight. You know, we're brothers. And they said, what are you going to do? Kill us like you did the Egyptian? And he was trying to save them. So... Understand, bondage is going to make people do some weird things. So don't be surprised if you try to share this information or you try to give people knowledge that they don't fight against you, you guys. So make sure you use this information for yourself first and try your best to share with others. But don't be surprised when you get a little pushback. You know, you get a little pushback because some people don't mind the bondage or they have condition themselves to the bondage so we're going to move forth number one the first tip of the day and i took some notes so when i look down i'm just reading my notes some things that uh number one that you need to do you need to get a notebook this is very important because this is key um when you start to make these steps on clearing up your credit you need to have a place where you write down the date, times, the dates you sent correspondence, read correspondence, when you placed phone calls, who you spoke to, what date and times that you spoke to. This notebook should be strictly for your credit, information and repair. And you want to do times and dates because you want to track your progress. This is almost going to be like if you're losing weight. Your food journal. You know, you want to make journal of the steps and what's working for you and what's not. Now, your first piece of homework I want to give you today. When you get that notebook, your first assignment is to write down this question. If I had perfect credit, what would I do? I want to know why you want a perfect credit score. Because all of us have different goals different objectives. I want to know what's your short-term goal if you had good credit and what's your long-term goal. The reason why, because one size don't fit all in credit. We all have different wants, different even needs. So if I wanted to get a car and that was my goal, it's a way different strategy than wanting a house. So you need to even tap into that place. So when you start to make these moves to clear your credit, that'll be a place of motivation. And also, a lot of you I speak to, when I ask you why you want perfect credit, 
can't really even give me a reason why. You know, credit is just a means to an end for you to accomplish, to be able to borrow money and to complete a goal. So I want you to, number one, put that in, spec in perspective. What goal do you actually want to complete? What's your short-term goal and what's your long-term goal if you had this perfect credit? And that's step number one, and that's the first beauty tip. Make sure you get your notebook, and I want you to clearly identify what is your goal with this perfect credit. And this will be the first step, but I'm telling you, we're going to get in depth in this thing. And let me tell you, the rabbit hole goes really deep because maybe some of the information that I give you might not be what you um, totally expect, but it's going to. It's going to really do be some life-changing situations, but this is the first step. So we can identify. And even if I speak to some of you guys, I always ask you, what's your goal? Well, like, what is your purpose to get credit? Because some things, you guys don't even need credit to get what you're trying to accomplish. Um, AKA, if you want a house, see my video on what I said, bad credit and buying, getting, obtaining a house. There's different ways to do what you want, but we want to make it clear and bible said write the vision down and make make it clear make it plain so make it plain for yourself and i'll be back to you tomorrow with tip number two have a blessed day